What a joy it is to come and share with you these devotional moments. In Mark chapter 2, Jesus has come again to Capernaum. Capernaum has become his uh, home away from home. It is literally the headquarters for the ministry of the Master. He's in a house, some believe to be the home of Simon Peter, and it was noise that he was in the house. And the Bible says the house became filled with people. And there was no room to get in, not even around the door. Uh, Jesus is sitting there and he's preaching the Word of God. And while words of grace were falling from his lips, suddenly there was an interruption, a noise overhead. Four men have come bearing a sick friend. They get to the house and they cannot get in. They will not be deterred. They will not uh, uh, be filled with doubt. They will not take literally no for an answer. They will not let this obstacle get in their way. The Bible says they went up on the roof, tore back the roof, and let this man down through the roof. Jesus looked up and saw their faith. Uh, and said to the man, looks down at the man and says, Thy sins be forgiven thee. Doctors say much about physical illness, that much of it comes from emotional and spiritual problems. That people get sick because of a bitterness in their spirit, an unforgiving spirit holding grudges against other people. And perhaps the most graphic example of that is ulcers, which are caused not so much by what you are eating, but by what is eating you. Your problem is not your parents. Your problem is not your spouse or your children or your boss. Jesus looks at this man and he says to this man, Thy sins be forgiven thee. Here is this man who is sick of the palsy to the point that he is no longer mobile. He was crippled and had to be carried. He couldn't walk on his own. He was totally dependent upon others to carry him wherever he, he went. And as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have to always remember that there are those who have to be carried. Life has crippled them. Sin has crippled them. And they're no longer able to make it on their own or by themselves. They have to be carried emotionally. They have to be carried spiritually. They have to be carried, some of them, financially. Uh, the Bible says his friends saw him in his condition and brought him to Jesus. I want to remind all of us that we don't have to look far and we don't have to look long to find someone who needs to be carried to Jesus. Will you make yourself available? Jesus looks at this man and says to him, Thy sins be forgiven thee. We need to remember as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ that Christianity is meaningless apart from forgiveness. That we are more like our Christ when we forgive than at any other time. Elton Trueblood says that the kingdom of Christ is not for the good, but rather for the people who know that they are not good. The redemptive fellowship is made up of those whose first qualification for membership is the recognition that they were unworthy of membership. 
we have to learn how to forgive one another. Forgiveness is the greatest miracle that Jesus ever performed. It meets the greatest need. It costs the greatest price. And yet it brings the greatest blessing. Let's pray. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for all that you've done for us through your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that in Christ we can find forgiveness. That in Christ, that forgiveness brings us again into your family and into the fellowship of your church. We ask that you will continue to touch our hearts, that as we are forgiven, we will forgive others. For we pray and we ask it all in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. I want to remind you of our prayer calls on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and then again Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. Then on Sunday morning, we begin at 8.30 with our Sunday school review, followed by 9 a.m. worship. We are having in-person worship, but if you can't be here in person, we'd love to have you a part of our live streaming worshipers. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you is our prayer.